I'm Sylvie LaRue. It's me, Olivier. Oh, hello, Uncle. Something wrong? Are you planning to visit Malta by any chance? <laughs> like right now? I'm working on a, a book. See, I found something on Gozo. What? The ruins we know so well hide something more. An underground temple. How is that possible? The entry was hidden by the Knight's Hospitaller. But why? They hid something remarkable in there. This will help you with your research. <laughs> really? Nobody believes in my theories. You should come here and take a look yourself. Oh, well, all right. I'll, I'll be there tomorrow. materials to my archaeology book. Doesn't seem like I'll be finishing it anytime soon. This rain reminds me of something. I feel a shiver creeping up my spine. This rain reminds me of something. I feel a shiver creeping up my spine. Plane to Malta is about to take off. I need to hurry. A great discovery awaits me. My old photo. It might come in handy. I heard that my grandma was an enfant terrible. Well, I have someone to refer to, just in case. My uncle Olivier, undaunted explorer, my mentor, and a great authority. My parents, ethnographers, what a life. Constant travels, researching the vanishing cannibal tribes. switch everything off before I leave. is undeniably missing, and I can't see any message. Arabic gum. We would use it to put up funny advertisements. Gum. We would use it to put up funny advertisements. Arabic gum. We would use it to put up funny advertisements.
My uncle's apartment is like a museum. My uncle's apartment is like a museum. Uncle liked to light up his pipe after work. Uncle liked to light up his pipe after work. This won't work. We need an alternative solution. We need an alternative solution. I remember, there's a hiding place behind this panel. I won't get it open that way. The compartment's blocked. This won't work. Sylvie, think. I won't get it open that way. The compartment's blocked. Sylvie, think. Those fair ladies on the painting are my grandmas, great-grandmas, and great-aunts. Strong personalities, one and all. It looks as if my uncle left the flat just for a moment. My uncle must have been under a lot of pressure recently. This made him sleepless. I'd love to get my parents' advice. Unfortunately, they're deep in some jungle. What a nice smell. Violets from the Calypso Meadow. My uncle's morning gown is still on the screen. He would never embark on a journey without it. Probably just left for Gozo. The pattern on this vase seems mismatched. this I open the hiding place there's no post this open with something oh it went and bent I have to pry this open with something hmm I've bent it slightly I won't start my scooter with it now a letter worthy of some attention
In later chapters, the book was written in unknown writing. In later chapters, the book was written in unknown writing. What are these paintings? I've seen that before, in a dream. This note was not for me, but never mind. My uncle was clearly afraid of something. I need to find this Anderson guy. In later chapters, the book was written in unknown writing. A most valuable volume. The uncle had a soft spot for old manuscripts. Miss LaRue. I need to talk to you about your uncle. You knew each other? It is a small town. Huh, I don't remember you from my childhood. You two were friends. Oh, if I had been working here those days, you would remember me. Some folks here still reminisce about the mischief of three kids, especially stealing the yacht and sailing out to sea. Hmm, we just, um, borrowed it. If the Coast Guard had not meddled in our business, the yacht would have been back at the docks on time. Would you be so kind and finally introduce yourself? I'm a police inspector. My name is Gronk. Hmm, well, what's the deal with my uncle? It's a tad awkward. <laughs> Excuse me? Your uncle worked on some research on Gozo. Yes, he's been working here for years, and he's responsible for many discoveries. We all know that. The professor is held in very high regard because of his scientific successes. Well, he was up until now. So you know he's lost the sight? This is an outrage! When was the last time you spoke to him? Two days ago, on the phone. You didn't meet on Malta? No, not yet. He's not home. He must have gone to Gaza. I've been trying to get in touch with him for the past two days, but he has gone missing. Missing? What do you mean? He is not home, he is not on Gozo, he's not in any of the places he usually visited. 
Oh, I'm worried. My uncle led a life according to routine. Why did the police take interest in my uncle? Do you realize that precious excavations, stone tablets found by Mr. LaRue, have disappeared from the outpost on Gozo? No. When? Two days ago. After he lost the sight? Do you think there's a connection? Yes, indeed. Someone took advantage the moment there was no one to lead the site. Hmm. Another archaeologist, Henry Simon, took over. I don't think that was the case. <laughs> Why? This is all too obvious. In my opinion, it was the professor who took the tablets and vanished. <laughs> what? What an idiotic theory. You're out of your mind. No. I am seeking for the simplest of solutions. So, there it goes. A frustrated professor who had his research taken from him... Uh, you know what? Enough. ...decides to take back what he thinks rightfully belongs to him and continue his research in secret. So, Inspector, do you have any other questions? Oh, indeed. Uh, for instance, I'm curious if the professor talked to you about any details pertaining to his latest discovery. Details? He never got the chance. I told you, we never... Just making sure. Will you continue your uncle's work? Yes. I will keep an eye on his house. It could be looted by collectors of some sort. <sighs> Thank you. That's very kind. I can even peep in, if you wish, to check to see if everything is all right. All you need to do is let me in. Mm, spare the trouble. I don't think that's necessary. I speak as a concerned citizen. We are all proud of Olivier LaRue's heritage. Really? So, if what you say is true, why did they stop his works? You simply don't understand scientists' motives. My profession has taught me to distance myself from other people's declarations. Deep inside, we all have dark drives and desires. This professional suspiciousness clearly makes you sick. Only the sick know the value of good health. I don't believe you'll find the thief. In any case, if the professor shows up or tries to contact you, just... Well, I have to admit I am reluctant. You must. Otherwise, you might be treated as an accomplice. A short conversation with you, and I already feel guilty. We can help each other. Uh, somehow I doubt that. This conversation is really unpleasant. Goodbye. I am quite sure we'll meet again. Good morning, Mr. Kalata. Hello. Uh, do I know you? Come on, Mr. Kalata. It's me, Sylvie, Olivier LaRose's niece. Oh, let me have a look at you. Sylvie, how you have grown! <laughs> and some of us haven't gotten a day older. I can still remember you running down those streets all day long till the evening set in. And how Mr. Olivier would call you back home from his window, huh? He would often look for you all over town, uh, starting from my store. Uncle isn't home. Yes, he uh, stopped visiting me for a game of chess. When did you last see him? Mm, two or three days ago. We played chess. He, his thoughts uh, seemed to wander. I can't believe he forgot to leave a message. Two days ago, in the evening, I saw him leave the house. He looked agitated. He nodded towards me, got into the car, and drove off. Where to? I have no idea, but he looked as if he had just discovered something. Where could he have gone? 
Try Gozo, for instance? Will you help me? Of course. Uh, as long as I do not have to move from here, I, I need to see to my workshop, you know. If you happen to bump into something that could... I will let you know ASAP. And uh, I ask the same of you. Yeah, I am so worried that something bad happened to him. Well, uh, perhaps he discovered something new again, huh? And he's digging in the soil, oblivious of the world around him. Hopefully. Do you know James Anderson? He a uh, singer? No, he's a linguist. He has recently collaborated with my uncle. He lived here? Was he young? Old? <sighs> I have no idea. Hmm, I think I saw some young gentleman here once or twice lately, but I have no information about him. I, I guess he lives in the vicinity. Can you repair this key for me, Mr. Colada? Oh, with a pleasure, my child. I have this key, but it's bent and doesn't work. Can you fix it? Show it to me. What the heck did you do to it? <laughs> I was trying to open a bottle. Hmm, it will take a few minutes. In the meantime, you might want to visit... Your brother? I'm not sure if I can find him. Uh, you will, no worries. And uh, mind you, he is a forgetful. Uh, just pass him the message, this evening, no. This evening, no. And that's it? Yep. This evening, yes? Mm, no. This evening, no. I'll be going now. Guess I'll just walk around like in the old days. The walls stand as they used to, but uh, the people are different. Enjoy the silence. I really love the siesta time. Excuse me, do you happen to know Professor LaRue? Why, of course. We all know one another very well here. Though, frankly speaking, I haven't seen him for two days. Yeah, that's the problem. Hey, hold on. Your voice sounds familiar, but I don't know why. I hope you have some good memories about it. A girl hidden inside St. John's Church. Again, the shadowy past is upon me. I told her she couldn't stay overnight, because at night, the knights sleeping under the tiles wake up from their dreams. And she answered, yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a memory you have, sir. Such events are hard to forget. You hid in the chapel where the Caravaggio hangs. St. John the Baptist's execution. Did you know that Caravaggio was a member of the Order? Yeah, I heard it through the grapevine. The great master, Elof de Wignacourt, was delighted when the artist painted his portrait. I would have been pleased myself. Caravaggio hoped he could win his pardon in a murder case. Unfortunately, he misbehaved again and was expelled from Malta. Hmm, what a restless soul. And your name is... Uh, wait a sec. Ferrier? <laughs> nope. Ah, ah, yes. Not Ferrier. It's Duval. My name is LaRue. Ah, ah, yes. Just like the professor. Of course. I remember I walked you back to him. That is correct. So, what about the professor? Why were you asking about him? He's my uncle. He's not home and hasn't left me a message. I'm sure he'll turn up. I hope so too. Uh, please come back later. I may have news for you. Okay. Have a nice day. This is one of the knights that defended the island from the Turks. I loved my school days. 
Apart from brief moments of studying, we had so much fun here. The door is locked. I have to use the entry phone. Why would I bother the dwellers? Why would I bother the dwellers? These old walls need some refreshing. I used to sit around here for hours on end with my mates, and we were never bored. A whale could squeeze through this rose. A whale could squeeze through this rose. An old paper. Good wrapping material. Hmm, an old paper. Good wrapping material. Holidays at the seaside. Only hunger would drag us away from this place. Pay admission fee to enter the pier. Nice weather for sailing, huh? Couldn't be any better. Five euros per hour. Which boat's yours? Which one would you like? Fast. Swift and cheap. The cheapest are the ones at the bottom of the sea. We could even pay you for those. Well then, another time perhaps. You see, bird brain, you scare away my customers. I won't earn enough to have dinner, so I'll have to cook you. This evening, no. Can I enter the pier? After you have paid the admission, yes. Well. I was hoping I could at least have a look at the boats for free. Lashaki, Ongi, Speranza, Boy, Jay, and Tati. What a big mouth. This is all Professor Lambrusco's fault. This evening, no. What's up, miss? You feel sorry for this miserable bunch of feathers sticking out of the bird's backside? Mr. Carlotta asked me to pass you this message. This evening? No. What does he know? I won't have him in a fear. I'll make grumbling bird soup. Why don't you fry some fish or something? <laughs> Do you know James Anderson? Anderson? The one from the Coast Guards? No, he's a linguist. Can't be. His choice of words is poor, knows no more than a handful of swear words. Want to know which ones? No, spare me the pleasure. Have you seen Professor LaRue recently? The one that digs in the earth? <laughs> yes, the archaeologist? No, not recently. Guess he dug himself six feet under. I'm sorry? Rest in peace, Amen. Don't mock other people's misery. Or else you might have your own to worry about. What? One cannot even say anything these days? Today, I don't feel like sailing your boat. Some other time, maybe. Please return when you feel like it. The best boat's on the coast.
Say something, little parrot. Give me fish! Do you know James Anderson? Who's that? Who's that? A linguist. No, it's just three languages. Hardly a linguist. Do you know where he lives? Fetch me fish! Fetch me fish! Will you give me his address? Give me fish! Give me fish! See you later, Parrot. Come back for a chit-chat one day. You will sink with us for just five euro. A whale could squeeze through this rose. I'd better put it back in its place. The old guy that left it might want to reclaim it. Mm, I won't reach it. I might try plunging into this flower bed, but I have my reputation to worry about. Mm, I won't reach it. I might try plunging into this flower bed, but I have my reputation to worry about. How's my key? Ah, fixed. Good as new. Splendid. How much? Ah, uh, forget it. It would be less than a euro. Here's the right pay for a professional job. Thanks. Keep the change. Ah, uh, you are generous indeed. Thank you, miss. Now, all rests on my shoulders. You mean your uncle's archives? Yes. His flat is one big museum. I'm not sure if I can leave it unattended. But you know this is a peaceful area. Just in case, my wife can visit a flat from time to time to air the rooms a little bit. Thank you. I've been to the docks. Well, how do you like it these days, huh? It's cool. But, uh, this brother of yours? He's a true weirdo. He tries to hunt down his own parrot. He just says so. The old sea wolf needs to grumble. Can I borrow these pliers? What is on your mind again? Nothing much, really. Uh, sure, but uh, don't forget to return them, huh? 
Bye, and um, please keep an eye on your brother and his parrot. Don't you worry, he's emotionally attached to her. Do not forget to put the pliers back where they belong. They may come in handy. Unused tools rust in no time. Maybe I should use them to cut something. I have always been good at handicraft. Bye, and um, please keep an eye on your brother and his parrot. Don't you worry, he's emotionally attached to her. Delicious mackerel from the Mediterranean. Ideal weather for sailing! I got you a fish! Yep! Rotten fish! What a capricious bird! What am I gonna do with it now? Arr, eat a homeless animal or something! Will you give me his address? I don't know anything. Your memory sucks. It's not true. The parrots talk. You have to stole a five bar. You have to stole a five bar. What am I gonna do now? Carry this fish with me all day? Don't throw it away. You will sink with us for just five euro. I got you a fish. Yuck! Rotten fish! What a capricious brrrr! Will you give me his ad? Brrr. You don't know anything. Your memory's- It's not true! The parrots talk. You have to stole a five bar. You have to stole a five bar. What am I gonna do now? Carry this fish with me all day? Don't throw it away! Am I supposed to run around town and catch butterflies with this? I'd prefer to meet him face to face rather than send this letter by post. Anderson might help me, but he's not here now. I'll take a look at the excavation site and come back here later. I have to find my uncle, but there aren't too many people to turn to for help. And, um, please keep an eye on your brother and his parrot. Don't you worry. He's emotionally attached to her. I'm off to Gozo to see my uncle's discovery.
I won't say who I am. If Uncle wasn't welcome here, 